Here is a video overview of the mechanical operation in the Wallensack model T1400. Yes, this is very similar to the 1500, but is 1400 is it? The top isn't white and everything. But anyway, uh, this is a very interesting mechanic, so I'm thinking Clyde Sight will really enjoy because I'm um, okay. You can see it's all done by idlers except for there's one belt in there that runs the take up reel on play with the clutch mechanism and then there's one belt there for the counter which I had to replace. The other counter belt is right there with its weird shape. The counter belt is done in an interesting way. It comes from the supply reel spindle and it goes around those idlers and then goes to the counter. That's uh, it's moved out of the way so it doesn't interfere with the drive idlers. Now these drive idlers have a very neat way of running them because this has an idler speed change and idler drive on the flywheel, but there's two idlers there. When you move the speed changer, it actually trades idlers. Whenever you do that, you notice the top idler, the bottom idler isn't being used for this even though it is spinning. The top idler um, goes to the wider part on the motor spindle, and then whenever you switch it to 3 and 3 fourths, trade's place and the bottom idler goes to the bottom motor spindle. Very interesting. Fast forward moves that idler to the part that's not the clutch mechanism, the part above the clutch mechanism to turn the take up reel. And I think that that's touching the flywheel, the other part of the idler. And then the rewind just simply moves that wheel which has an idler built on it down onto the motor shaft. And the brakes are of course there and they just go like you know, move like that. Playing of course the pinch ruler and then the two in one head which has erased record and playback inside the same case. And the clutch mechanism on here I had to put new foam in there Two felt had two felt pieces that rub against each other. Those two felt pieces would form the clutch, but there was um, some foam that would be under the one of the felt pieces to you know push it on the other, you know, push it up, so it has some tension and the foam you know crumbled just like in foam in an eight, old eight track likes to do. So I stuck some pieces of foam in there, and that's working greatly now. This machine is working very nicely. I'm just worried that I might have to replace the motor run capacitor one day because the motor when it runs for a while tends to get real hot and I think when a, on an AC motor that runs with the capacitor if the motor gets extremely hot in a matter of a few minutes or so that usually if not always means the motor run capacitor is failing and that's just you know me learning from experience there. It's a very nice machine give it a stop. Yeah, right oh my gosh, look at this picture of me. This is just crazy. <laughs>